President of India Shri Ramnath Kovind addressed the joint sitting of two houses of parliament today. While addressing both the houses of parliament assembled together today, he saluted freedom fighters who gave highest priority to their duties and secured the rights of India. The president in his address to the parliament highlighted the various initiatives taken by the central government for women empowerment to provide them new opportunities for employment and equal participation in various fields. The president further stated that women empowerment is one of the top priorities of the government. The economic survey of 2022 was tabled by the Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs Srimati Nirmala Sita Raman in the parliament today. The central theme of this year's economic survey is the agile approach implemented through India's economic response to the COVID-19 pandemic shock. India's COVID-19 vaccination coverage has exceeded 166.03 crore and more than 28 lakh vaccine doses have been administered in the last 24 hours. Also, 2,62,628 patients have recovered in the last 24 hours and the cumulative tally of recovered patients is now at 3 crore 89 lakh 76,122. Consequently, India's recovery rate stands at 94.37%. A virtual function was held to mark the launch of the Global Center of Excellence in Affordable and Clean Energy at the Indian Institute of Technology, Tharwad, Karnataka on Friday, 28 January 2022 in the presence of Professor K. Vijay Raghavan, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India.